Welcome to Bar Heartwoods. I took a little bit of a break over the weekend. It was my son's birthday. I had to make a cake. I just had to finish some assignments and I just took some knitting time for myself. So I'm catching up now. Um, there'll be a few little clips of everybody um, uh, celebrating birthday and opening presents and generally behaving like our weirdo selves. Um, <laughs> for today, I just want to do a short little update. Um, I was going to show off my scarf collection. So I love knitting scarves and shawls. Um, I love the complexity of them and they are just massive amounts of fun. So we'll go from oldest to newest. So my oldest scarf I have ever met and anybody who has been knitting for a while knows this pattern is my clap of tea. So this is an example of the game of yarn chicken that was lost. So I ran out of my blue yarn here and I'll link which yarn it is below. And that is my yarn chicken reminder to swatch and remember how much yarn you have left. But um, I've actually gotten comments on, on it and uh, they people like it as a design feature. So oldest one. Next is my Vice Sakura. So this is the Vice yarn, um, the Sakura uh, pattern. And I really love this one. I love how the fade worked out for this shawl. And then as annoying as it was to do, I absolutely adore the beaded end pattern. can see there, there are several hundred little beads at the end. So, second oldest. Then, last year, I did a mystery shawl, so an advent shawl, and this yarn is just lovely. I think this was actually two years ago, I think. Um, and it is a wool silk blend so it's just so soft. I love wearing this one on really cold days because when you wrap it around your neck the silk and the wool together just make it so incredibly warm um, and soft up against your skin. So I think not my favorite pattern. Um, it's a pretty basic pattern but it did, did turn out um, really pretty. Um, so like that very much. Last year I knit the Sharon Show oh, incredibly long, almost sampler pattern from Casapinka. And this is mostly um, Quince and Co. yarn, I forget which weight, um, with the red bean on the round, who is a main based dyer. And I really like how this turned out. I like that it is so long so it can go around my neck and then I can even tuck it in a little bit um, because when the wind blows, it is cold. So 100% um, wool. Um, I just had to reblock it actually because I dropped avocado on it and of course I dropped it on the pink part, not the green part. And then finally, my shawlography. from October. Um, I actually finished it, I think, toward the end of November. Um, this is uh, Kelma Rose yarn. This is the Yaku Blue kit that Stephen had on his shop, um, and I adore it. This was my first time knitting so many of these different techniques, and um, I even fell in love with brioche. So in terms of progress, I have made some progress on my son's sweater that I am knitting. So I actually tried this on him. Clip right now. So how much longer do you want me to make it? Like where do you want it to stop? Like on your hips? It needs to be a little longer than that, right? Yeah. So like stop here? Yeah. Okay. Good. And 
it is fitting him pretty well. It is a little bit big um, width-wise, but I kind of expected that, so I did actually just decrease a little bit um, as it gets down to the ribbing. Um, I will probably knit a few more inches on this and do the ribbing and then the sleeves and be done with that. I do not think I'm going to finish it by the end of the year, um, just because I keep getting bored with the stockinette. So, since I was bored, and I didn't have enough works in progress, I cast on another suture. Uh, another suture. Wrong hobby. Career. Something. So, I used these, which I had in my stash. So, this is the Silky Targi. It's listed as a DK, but it really blooms up to a worsted weight. And this is from Blue Moon Fiber Arts in the color Psycho Barbie. I initially got this yarn when I was knitting my mother a pussy hat, <laughs> and I bought way too much of it, because pink yarn at that point in time was incredibly hard to find, and I didn't want to lose out. Um, very nice, lovely single ply, nice and squishy. This was actually gifted to me by a co-worker, so this is from her alpaca, I think his name was Washington, and it is... Um, kind of a uh, cream colored wool mixed uh, and then uh, wool and spun with a black Romney sheep. So this is a naturally colored wool alpaca blend. Um, I don't know the percentages. Um, she got this milled locally, um, uh, but it is so soft and fluffy and then just blooms lovely. So when Andrea Maori released her Harlow hat pattern and given my recent acquired love for brioche, um, I started knitting a Harlow worsted hat for myself, and um, it is just so squishy and soft. I did try it on. Um, I put it back on the short needle, so I won't try it on right now, um, but it is soft and lovely and warm, and I like that the hat is reversible, so you can do the pink on the outside or the pink on the inside. Um, and I think I will love wearing it. I did notice that my ears have been getting cold lately. I don't have a hat I like, um, so I will be really, really happy to finish this hat, hopefully shortly. And I picked the worsted because I had worsted in stock, although, let's be honest, I have fingering white in stock too. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to do this. I like the, the bright pink, um, especially in the winter colors. Uh, with all the grays and stuff going on right now. So there is that. Um, I may not post this week very much just because I have a couple assignments due for school and keeping up with that will be difficult. Um, and I'm on call and then we will go from there. So um, hopefully I'll post again by next weekend. Um, if not, have a nice week. Bye. Ellie. <laughs> what are you doing, Ellie? Are they light and fluffy? No. Are you going to make them light and fluffy? closet. I never see them.